Hello guys, uh, my name is Jake Redman with uh, Fresno or uh, FHC Sports, and um, today I'm going to be giving you my personal predictions for the upcoming 2018 NHL Draft. So here I have a list from 10 to 1 on who um, on who I believe will be drafted. Uh, as I said, from the 10th place to the first place. So starting off with number 10, I have Joel Farabee, who is six foot, 162 pounds. And uh, in 64, or sorry, 54 games played, he has 64 points. He currently, uh, for the 2017-2018 season, he played for the U.S. national team for uh, the U18 age group. Uh, I personally think that the 10th, uh, pick will go to the Islanders, and I believe that that will be a good pick for the Islanders as uh, they need help scoring and uh, with talks about Tavares possibly leaving Long Island, I believe that uh, Joel Farabee will help out scoring, passing, and then uh, hopefully winning the Islanders a few more games. Coming up next, we have Ryan Merkley, who's uh, six foot hundred, uh, sorry, six foot hundred and seventy pounds. Uh, in sixty three games played, he had sixty seven points. Currently, for the twenty seventeen twenty eighteen season, he played for the Gulf Storm. Now, um, there's probably gonna be a little bit of criticism for my pick for, you know, ninth overall, just because Ryan Merkley was projected to go um, high pi 15 through 19 or possibly even in low 20s um, but I see more potential in him that's just me but I I believe that he has the potential to become a pretty good defenseman and I believe that the uh, Chicago Blackhawks will get the ninth overall selection and, like, in my head, I could picture Ryan Merkley in a Hawks jersey. Yeah, that's just me. Eighth overall, um, I'm going to go with Ty Smith, who's 5'11", 175 pounds. In 69 games played, he had 73 points, um, with a plus-minus of 44, which is pretty good. Um... For the 17-18 season, he played for the Spokane Chiefs. Now, Ty Smith, I I watched one of the uh, games. I don't remember who they were playing, but uh, I remember it was a it was a playback. So I watched it. It like just to see him play. He he skated so nicely, uh, even as a even just as an all around player. Uh, good offensive ability, good defensive ability. Uh, I think that he would be a good uh, good pick. And for the eighth overall selection, I believe it will go to the New York Rangers. Rangers didn't have that good of a season. Uh, so I believe with their record, it could land them with the eighth overall spot. Uh, coming up with the seventh overall pick, I went with Quinn Hughes. Uh, he is five foot ten, hundred seventy four pounds. Thirty seven games played, twenty nine points with a plus minus of fourteen. Uh, for the twenty seventeen eighteen season, he spent his time with the University of Michigan. Ooh, Quinn Hughes, one of those players that, um, in a little bit of time whether that means a span of 10, 15 games, you could see that he is a pretty good player. Almost phenomenal level, in my opinion. Um, he moves the puck around a lot. Also likes to take it. Passes a decent amount. Uh, I think he'd be a good pick. And, um, yeah. He's one of those where he's... He's, he's like, uh, could have one bad season, could have another good one. That's, that's pretty much, uh, Quinn Hughes. 
just I was looking briefly on uh, EliteProspects.com of his stats in the past now and it's like one year you could have this next year you could have that next year you could have this it's kind of like the Nathan McKinnon effect last year didn't have a good season and then um, this season phenomenal uh, but yeah that's my evaluation on Quinn Hughes for sixth overall I have uh, Oliver Wallstrom 6'1 205 pounds in 63 games, or 64 games played, he had 83 points. Now, he's one of those players that, very good on offense, okay on defense. Um, when he's going up, you know it. It's like, it's almost like there's like this one mannerism that he has when he starts skating, where um, you almost know that he's about to uh, bring the puck up. Always creates offensive opportunities for his teammates, but when when you see that shot go, you know that there's a pretty good chance going in. And for the sixth overall selection, I believe that the Vancouver Canucks are going to have it and that they will draft Oliver Wallstrom. Moving on to the fifth pick, I have Adam Boquist, or Boquist, sorry, I, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, who's five foot eleven, hundred and seventy pounds. Uh, decent sized guy. I will say that. In forty games played, thirty one point or not sorry, wrong one. Uh, nine games played, he had nine points for the Sweden U twenty team. Um, I took those stats just because I thought it was pretty impressive. Oh, excuse me, but for his regular season, pretty good. Um, he's he's shut down very good on defense, uh, mediocre on offense. Um, but yeah, so uh, for the fifth overall selection, I believe that the Red Wings will have it and that they will draft um, Adam Buckwist. Fourth overall, here's the top four. This is pretty much any hockey fan who's been watching hockey for a while, I'm pretty sure you could guess it's top four. Now, I kind of threw, it was almost like I had to flip a coin to see who would go fourth and third. But for the fourth overall selection, I have Brady Kachuk. Controversial, to say the least, but, um, yeah. That's pretty much, that's pretty much what I have to say. Six foot three, hundred ninety six pounds. For forty games played, he had thirty one points, um, with a plus minus of fifteen. Brady Kachuk, what do I have to say? Great bro, ugh, bloodline. Keith Kachuk, Matthew Kachuk. I'd I'd personally love to see. Uh, Matthew and Brady on the same team, whether that means in Calgary or whether that means in Montreal, which is where I have Brady Kachuk going. Um, I believe that Brady Kachuk and uh, Matthew Kachuk, uh, Matthew having a great season, Brady, who's stellar um, for their own respective teams. I think that, uh, you know, it'd be a good selection for the Canadians as, uh, as he just has that much experience, just through the father, through the brother, and through himself, who has proven himself to be a very well-rounded hockey player. Third overall, I have Andre Svech... <laughs> Stretch Snikov, there we go. Before the video started, I was like, hopefully I don't botch his name. Obviously, I've pro uh, proven myself wrong. 6'3", 187 pounds. Big man. Uh, you know, big kid, big kid. Uh, 44 games played, he had 72 points. Amazing. Uh, to add the cherry on top, he had a plus 26. 
for the Barry Colts. Or Barry Colts. Again, sorry if I'm botching it. Um, Andre Svechnikov. Uh, as I said, big kid. Can lay down some hits. Also, uh, great offensively. Moves his feet. Uh, keeps him going. And, um, and kind of like with... Um, I believe it was with Adam Boquist what I was talking about. When you see that shot, there's a very good chance it's going in. And uh, that's just the type of person uh, he is. Moving on, second overall pick. Probably guess it. Philippe Zadina. 6'1", 192 pounds. He's, he's a very good player. If anybody saw him play in the World Cup or World Juniors, uh, you could tell that he, he'd be something big, whether that means in the NHL or just really anywhere he plays. 82, uh, sorry, 57 games played. He had 82 points. Uh, kind of switched it around there. Uh, for In a plus 23 for the Halifax Mooseheads. Um... And also for the second overall, I believe it will belong to the Ottawa Senators. Reason why I believe that Philippe Zadina would be a great pick is because there is a possible chance for there to be a departure of Eric Carlson, and I believe that he will help offensively if they draft him. Um, at the same time, I don't know if he would want to be a part of that rebuild process that Ottawa has going on. Especially if they lose Eric Carlson, could get more pieces for him if they uh, want to resign him and then trade him later on, or if they just let him go in free agency, will free up a lot of cap. Um, I could see him starting out, finishing, or starting on a line with like a Bobby Ryan, a Derek Brassard, because I believe coming in he could be a solid second liner, and then next year, year after, year after, will be a first liner. Um, first overall, Rasmus Dahlin. There's no questions asked. Um, he's six foot two, 183 pounds. In 41 games played, he had 20 points. Mediocre for a defenseman. Um, and a plus four to add to the top four eight er, for for Lunda at HC. He, I feel like he doesn't have the hype that a Connor McDavid did and Austin Matthews did. Um, I believe that he could be the next Connor McDavid for a defenseman. Is he going to score that many points as Connor McDavid does with the? 100 plus no will he be lucky to even score 40 points yes but um he's one of those people who could come in and could possibly and very well be a second to first pairing guy no questions asked buffalo sabers first overall um with two uh two great defensemen on there uh, that makes me scared of the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, Dolan, uh, you know, Eichel, Robin Lehner, who's having an okay season, and Rasmus Ristolainen. Shut down team right there. Um, also with the other small pieces. Well, not small, but people like O'Reilly. Um, yeah. Buffalo is going to be a very strong team next year if they get the first overall and they get or, and they uh, draft Dolan. But my guess is there's almost a 100% chance that any team that gets the first overall pick will most definitely draft Rasmus Dolan first overall. So that has been my top 10 predictions for the 2018 NHL Draft. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if you did not enjoy the video, dislike it. Uh, that gives us feedback.